This is one of the biggest mega projects in Europe and the world that is under construction. It is also the longest immersed tunnel in the world which is going to transform Europe's future. The project costs 7.5 billion euros and has a length of 18 km. But how are they going to build this tunnel under the sea without water entering the tunnels and connecting them to each other? If this is the question for you, stay tuned until the end of the video. Also, at the end of the video, we will compare the time saved by building this tunnel, which you will be really shocked to hear. So, let's go inside the Danish mega tunnel. The Femian Belt Tunnel is an unknown construction mers tunnel which will connect the Danish island of Lolland with the German island of Femur, crossing the 18 km wide Femur Belt in the Baltic Sea to provide a direct link between northern Germany and Lolland and from there to the Danish island of Zeeland and Copenhagen, becoming the world's longest road and rail tunnel. The construction of the Femur Belt Tunnel began in 2020 initially on the Danish side and in 2021 on the German side. It is expected to complete it in 2029. The project cost was initially estimated at 5.5 billion euros, but it has grown to 7.4 billion euros. This includes the construction of the tunnel as well as the necessary upgrades to the railway and road network on either side. The tunnel will be financed by the Denmark, which will collect a toll from a crossing. Germany will pay a further 800 million euros to connect the crossing to its motorway network. What do you think? Can this tunnel help Germany and Denmark a lot or not? Write it in the comments below. The main construction site for the Fiemont Belt project is at Rotbihan, where the tunnel elements are cast and the tunnel workers stay. This is also where the tunnel station will be built. A small work harbor and concrete batching plant will be built at the Bad Garden. They will be used for the construction of the tunnel port. Special dredging vessels will dredge the 18 km tunnel trench and when it's completed, the tunnel elements will be immersed and joined together. The tunnel will have the one tunnel with the four lanes for cars and two tracks for railway. The tunnel is expected to improve transportation links between Scandinavia and Central Europe. The Femur Belt Tunnel is built under the sea using a method called Immersed Tunneling. This method involves the following steps. First, a tunnel trench is dredged in the seabed along the planned route of a tunnel. The trench is about 16 meters wide and 16 meters deep. Second, tunnel elements are manufactured on a land in factory at Rotbehan. Each element is a huge concrete box that's 217 meters long, 42 meters wide and 9 meters high. The elements have water flight, chambers and were reinforced with steel. Third, the tunnel elements are floated to the train side by tugboat. They are filled with water to sink them to the bottom of the trench. Then, they are aligned and connected with each other using rubber gaskets and poles. The joints are sealed with concrete. Fourth, the tunnel elements are covered with gravel, sand and stones to protect them from waves, currents and ice. The covering also restores the natural seabed environment. The immersed tunneling method has several advantages over other methods such as bore tunneling or bridge construction. It is faster, cheaper, safer and more environmentally friendly. It is also minimized the impact on the marine life and shipping traffic. If you have liked the video so far, please give it thumbs up so that we can keep making more videos for you. It will save about 14,000 tons of CO2 emissions per year by shifting traffic from road to the rail. The project will also involve some innovations and technologies that will make it state-of-the-art infrastructure. Some of the technologies include using a special concrete mix that can withstand high pressures and salt water. Using a robotic arm to install the tunnel elements and using a fire suppression system that can detect and extinguish fire in a second. 
The casting of the tunnel elements for the female bell tunnel is now in progress, approximately two and a half years after the start of construction of the world's largest forecast concrete elements factory in Rotbihan. The first tunnel element is expected to emerge in the female belt in 2024 in the special tunnel trench. It is currently being dredged. More than 90% of the dredging operations have now been completed. The Femur Bell Tunnel project was featured on a CNN as one of the most fascinating topics in the travel world. The Femur Bell Tunnel project will involve the use of approximately 3.2 million tons of concrete and 316,000 tons of the reinforced steel for the construction of the tunnel elements. The construction of the trench will involve the excavation of approximately 90 million cubic meters of the stone and sand from the seabed. Do you think it will be worth 7.5 billion euros to build or not? Be sure to share your opinions in the comments below. The journey between Road Behind and Pot Garden will take 7 minutes by train and 10 minutes by car. This is much faster than the current ferry service, which takes 45 minutes. The electrified high speed rail line will be capable of the reaching 200 km per hour. This means that you can travel from Copenhagen to Hamburg in about two and a half hours by train or from Berlin to Skatol in about nine hours by car. The Fimon Belt Tunnel will create a new corridor for the trade and mobility in Europe, connecting Scandinavia with Central and Eastern Europe. We also hope that this project will be end successfully and people will benefit from it. If you have enjoyed the video and want to know about the latest videos of the mega project, subscribe to High World channel and turn on the notifications bell. Also, keep watching another mega projects of the world, which is very exciting. Don't miss it.